Israel is a great place, people are nice, but the, this war around you 24 hours all your life is something that I realized, especially after traveling for a few years, something that I don't want to be part of. For me it was terrible. One of my biggest uh, push to leave Israel was the war that I felt I'm about to be part of, and this was almost a realization that at least in my lifetime, each one of our generations will have to take part in at least one war, you know. It was one of the only places I felt I can live in. I wouldn't want to live just in another big city, you know, and uh, it's one of the places that fit my lifestyle, which is tourists, lots of friends with the same feelings from around the world, you know, that would come here. Goa started around the end of 60s by the Americans who ran away from the Vietnam War. So it's all the same kind of idea of people that decided to leave their own based countries because they didn't like how the life was there. I got some leather in Delhi and I started to cut leather and play with the leather, you know, nothing special, nothing that I knew anything before that. Okay. And and then I came to Goa because there was the market here to sell to other foreigners, the flea market. So I, I made some leather work and sold it to foreigners that come traveling. You know? That's how it all basically started. The real business started here. Our place started when I realized it will never be enough money because it's only enough to bring yourself some food, but not more than that. So then I thought to put many artisans together like me and make one place for it. And that's how our place started. For my parents, it took many years to accept it. They only came to visit me in Goa two years ago, when my daughter had her third birthday. Otherwise, they never here, been here before. They was, for a while, they were almost embarrassed that the child is living in India, you know? When they came and they saw, they saw what we do here, and they met a lot of my friends, the, the families, you know, they were very happy. I mean, the, you know, I took to my, my father to the Taj uh, Hotel in Kandulim and uh, to Lila Palace down South Goa and he was like shocked that things like this uh, exist in India at all, you know. So they liked it a lot, but when you don't know, you think it's all dirty and people live in the streets, you know. So as soon as they came, it all changed, but took them like 15 years. I don't know myself, maybe because the rave's kind of finished, even though I don't think it's exactly the idea. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe some other destinations they found as tourism. I think the Goa government tried to bring a little bit more upmarket tourism. The Israelis were mostly backpackers. So I believe it's part of it, you know, slowly things got more expensive here. The lifestyle of the place changed a little bit, so there is less people. Also, people grew up, now they have families and they got back, and uh, the new generation looked for other things to do. A lot of people go South America or different places.